The three-point shot, a game changer is expressed by the Warriors dynasty, but nothing more than a footnote in the late 80s when it first became a part of the sport. We've all seen shooters come and go since then, and some of them have left a lasting impression on many of us. From Del Curry to Reggie Miller, Steve Kerr to Ray Allen, we've all been impressed by at least one of them at some point in time. While these players are impressive in their own right, there is one particular player that took this not just to the next level, but far beyond. So much so that he changed the entirety of the way the game was played. Not only did he change the way it was played, even after it was played with his abilities in the back of everyone's mind, he was still able to dominate and lead the league in almost every criteria that had to do with shooting. It's crazy to think that such a revolutionary player is still playing today, and the reason why he doesn't own every single record in this category, the fact that he's a much more well-rounded player than everyone wants to give him credit for, and he'd rather see his team win and his teammates become great than to pad his own stats. They look down on his accomplishments, and despite winning multiple championships, he'll never get the recognition he truly deserves until he's no longer a part of the sport. The name of this player? LeBron J. Wait a second, let me check my notes. Yeah, I knew something didn't sound right. <clears throat> Stephen Curry, the most prolific shooter this game has ever seen, has more game than his three-point shot, but today's video will focus on Steph and something very unique about this player. Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Swish, and in today's video, I wanted to talk about Steph Curry's five most demoralizing three-point bombs. Now, up to this point in his career, Steph has made good on 2,665 three-point attempts. While there's no way to guarantee that everyone will agree on his most demoralizing three-point shots, I wanted to list the ones that had me up, out of my seat, trying to find a nearby phone so I could call in for a suicide watch on any number of superstars on the opposing team. I'm talking about shots that made me want to fight Steph Curry until I realized, wait, that's my team. There are likely hundreds of those moments for Steph and no way to put them all in one video. So again, this is my personal list. If you feel I've left any out that you may have liked, feel free to comment about it in the comment section. This should be a fun review, so let's get to it. February 6, 2015, over Jeff Teague of the Atlanta Hawks. He's guarding Steph beyond the three-point line, one hand on Steph's hip and doing everything he can without fouling. Steph temporarily loses control of the ball, however this was enough for Teague to lose sight of the ball for the slightest of instances and as Steph Curry goes up, Teague gets a hand up but it is futile. That microsecond lapse is all Steph needed to rise up with his back initially turned, turn into his shot and swish it home. All that effort defensively and he was simply unable to face Steph. Jeff was fatigued. Unfortunately, this wasn't a three as Steph's foot was on the line, but I couldn't pass this one up. All the rest will be threes, however, so let's keep going. Next up is March 29th, 2019 over Jared Bayless of the Minnesota Timberwolves. This was the NBA's Bigfoot moment. The one and only ever instance of the hot stove contact where on a play previous to the one I'll be highlighting, Josh Okoge fouled Steph on a made three-point attempt by taking out his feet, preventing him from landing. You see Okoge clearly whack Steph around the heels and quickly draws back his hand. As if this wasn't enough to incense the team, the refs then took away a four-point play from Kevin Durant on an inbound that would have sealed the win against Minnesota. But no, says the refs, we're not counting the basket, and the call for the foul was on the floor prior to the shot. This time, the ball was inbounded to Steph, and with Bayless guarding him in three seconds on the clock, Steph puts up a shot that had to be the most incredible ending to the recent sequence of events and burying a three in Jared's face. The look of defeat as the shot went in was all that she needed, but I'll give you more. It was so evident that the refs didn't want the Warriors to win that Steph didn't even hide the fact that he felt it was the Warriors versus the refs with some help from the Timberwolves. That is one of the most memorable losses and one where there was no shame in the locker room regarding the eventual result of the game. May 15th, 2015 versus the Memphis Grizzlies at the Pfizer Forums. 
At the end of the third quarter, with the Warriors up 76-68, Big Guadala knocks the ball loose from a dribbling Jeff Green's hands right into the clutches of a one Steph Curry. As Green looks to the refs in frustration for a call, Steph's one and only instinct, you know, that instinct that none of us have, that gives him the exact longitudinal and latitude coordinates, not to mention height, rotation, pitch, spin, projectile angle, matching vectors of velocity while accounting for the 9.81 meters per second square constant that acts as a limiter, initial velocity, angular acceleration, and deceleration. Yeah, that instinct also showed Steph that despite everyone having stopped moving, the clock hasn't, and with the ability to make all the above calculations within the time it takes the normal human being to blink, Steph fires and drains a three-point shot from three-quarter court, consequently draining the entirety of the energy from the Pfizer forum. The entire fanbase of the Grizzlies felt struck by nausea and physical debilitation as the bottom of the net ricocheted and there was nothing they, nor anyone, not even the refs, could do about it. Just how many careers has Stephen Curry ended? And for the second rank demoralizing three, in March 8, 2015 was one of the most memorable and if Steve Kerr had any doubts about Stephen Curry's shot, this one erased all of them. While Draymond's attempt at a penetration came to a full stop at Clippers forward, a 7 foot 1 behemoth that is Spencer Hawes, he kicked it to Bogut, who immediately passes it to Curry and went to set a screen. That failed miserably. You see, screens don't work when 8 of the 10 players on the floor are in a 10 foot radius encircling the screener and the screen beneficiary. This is Matt Barnes saying, I'll catch you on the rebound, homie. Unfortunately, Barnes and the rest of the Clippers squad, Doc Rivers, and even Steve Kerr didn't know what they were about to find out about Steph Curry. As Steph turned the sliders up on rookie mode, stole all of Houdini's powers and seemingly without any sort of coordination, he contorts his body, lasers up with perfect trajectory, a three-pointer over the two remaining Clippers to a flawless swish, much to the initial chagrin and utter amazement of Steve Kerr. It's one thing to shock the opposing team, but to shock your coach to the point where he looked like he needed a smoke break halfway through the play showed Kerr exactly where he belongs. Yep, right back on the bench, seated where he would wait for the magician's next hat trick. And now for the most demoralizing three-point bomb in Steph's utterly destructive run as the greatest player currently on a basketball roster, Steph's buzzer beater versus Oklahoma City in 2016. At the end of regulation in a tie game, Oklahoma City had given everything they had with a prime Kevin Durant dropping 37 points and 12 rebounds, a prime Russell Westbrook with 26 points and 13 assists, plus a huge 20 rebound 15 point double double from Serge Ibaka, the Thunder would have been right to think it was over for the Warriors. There was just one big problem. Kevin Durant had fouled out of the game, leaving the Thunder with their one remaining superstar in Russell Westbrook. But not to fear, they had possession, a tie game, in only 5.5 seconds plus the 24 second shot clock. They had no idea what was about to unfold. Russell Westbrook, unable to get by Klay Thompson, threw up a prayer of a mid-range jumper and bricked away the Thunder's chances to seal the fate of the Warriors. Iggy grabs the rebound and executes the highest IQ play of the game that entire day. He passes the ball to the greatest player on the planet. With three dribbles, Steph elevates, and it was over. At this point in time, there was nothing anyone could do to stop the inevitable. When it's all said and done, this will be more than a three-point attempt. This will be the shot heard around the world. One that will echo across the entire basketball landscape and set the world of social media on fire for years to come. As Steph Curry releases, the entire history of man is about to change. Forever. Despite having one of the best games of his career and the help of a fellow superstar, Kevin Durant was unable to put away Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. This dance gave Kevin Durant nightmares for the next four months and five days, further compounded by the salt in the wounds of the 3-1 upset in the playoffs until he made the announcement that he will be joining the Golden State Warriors, sending further shockwaves throughout the league. The most demoralizing three-point shot 
that made a man turn against everything he had ever known and accept humility in becoming the second best player in the greatest dynasty in modern basketball. And that's all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Swish. A block so hard, sweaty gets served. Call me Lonzo Ball, bitches get swerved. Usually, I don't get down with these girls, but tonight it's on my mind. So I might eat these words. I just wanna. Watch